Hey everyone, it's Alex and we are talking about Baron Zemo today. If you're looking for Red Hulk, he's the video tomorrow. So stay tuned on that, subscribe if you're not subscribed already to make sure you see that video when it lands. But Baron Zemo, where does it stand? Is Baron Zemo good? Um, he's okay. Uh, I mean, this is still early testing first impressions, but uh, I was kind of coming in earlier on the Snapchat at a four star rating. Definitely not four stars. Feels much closer to a two or three. I wouldn't say two. I think the effect is still fun and good. His stat line is strong enough to warrant a three star rating. Potentially can go up to a four as well if you were able to get some more synergistic elements. But right off the top, he felt somewhat awkward. There were some like really mill centric plays that really paid off. Uh, a lot of disruption capabilities. I did like that. But sometimes you were just like, like thinning their deck for them so they could draw better, right? You're getting a one drop they might have top decked and you're allowing them just to get their null and death better, right? It's like, so there's that trade off, right? Of just helping them kind of just draw better. That was one of the major things I uh, kind of experienced here. Let's talk about some decks and stuff. Like overall, like I do think that Baron is interesting and you're going to see him being played mostly in these mill based decks although i did try some surfer and some other things as well so i'll talk you through some decks and the highlights i have later are really fun i think the card has potential as a season pass card it's worth noting that baron zemo is going to be amongst the best value you can get in marvel snap Buying the Season Pass is probably the easiest and cheapest avenue to acquiring a Series 5 card that you get right away and you don't have to worry about from a tokens or spotlight keys perspective, unlike Hulk, which we'll be talking about tomorrow. But this deck here we did some experimentation with. I didn't think it was that great. I, I thought it was okay, but the Stature Black Bull package was kind of awkward. I didn't find that like it was like really doing exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to experiment with the idea of disrupting their deck, but disrupting their hand as well, leading into the final turn. But ultimately, it wasn't all that great. I think there is some potential here. Like if you use Yondu and Ta uh, Grandmaster and stuff like that to kind of blow up their early turns, they must be holding kind of like higher tier cards. Like they must be holding something of value when you Black Bolt. So it did have a better impact than like you know we used to play black bolt and just hit a rock but nah, i just didn't like the deck now we did have a zemo mill uh, version 2 that we tried i actually like this one this one was kind of fun uh very similar style this was the second iteration of it we use dr octopus here because we have shongers in there we have the wong and others to try to make some additional value now wong felt like a bit of a trap as i continue testing this deck i'm sure wong ultimately gets cut but it was not bad. Again, the disruption of Dr. Octopus, the idea of milling through their deck and disrupting them uh, pretty significantly with the likes of Gladiator, Baron, Cable, and others is, is notable. But the, the trick about this deck though, is that like, if you play Baron later, there's a good chance they have nothing left in their deck. They're not even drawing anything anymore because you're just, you've blown everything up with, with Wong and Yondu and Cable and everything else. So it's kind of interesting from that perspective and uh, it doesn't really lack power thanks to the Dr. Octopus, but you can get screwed at the same time, right? Again, testing, I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, one deck that I really liked was Baron Zumo. Now, Baron Zumo is a take on a zoo style deck. I figured, you know what? What if we take a decently well-performing zoo deck and we add Baron uh, Zemo into it and we basically add some additional power with the likes of Call Obsidian and Mockingbird. Can we get vert vertical enough to really compete, especially when Yondu gets buffed by both, uh, you know, uh, Blarvel and by Kazar? So does it work? And it honestly was pretty good. I liked it a lot. I felt like Shauna and Squirrel Girl were at, uh, were at odds with each other slightly, and I think I might end up cutting one of them. So if you're going to test this deck, maybe consider swapping Shauna out for something else because it felt like we were just taking up too much space. Although Shauna did have her moments, I did like the deck, and it felt like with Dazzler and with Cole Obsidian and with Mockingbird specifically with uh, the uh, three five power Baron Zemo, it actually provided enough power to actually have a legitimate impact and put power on the board. So it was cool. We beat some legitimate players with it. So I liked it. I liked the idea of a zoo deck with uh, Baron Zemo because again, you're adding another piece on to the board and that's valuable in a zoo style deck. And we had a surfer deck, uh, Miller's Genuine Surf. Um, you know, shout out to anybody that knows that reference, I guess. But at the end of the day, I was trying to say, okay, I've been loving Surfer lately. I think that Surfer is amongst one of the best decks in the... I don't want to say the best decks in the game right now. It's really not. Like, it does not compete that effectively compared to, like, Thanos and Discard and stuff. But it has its moments because Brood, Absorbing Man, Forge is good. You cut the Nakia, Okoye kind of buff package. And so, like, Sebastian Shaw feels way less powerful, way more tamed. And you add Baron, so you're adding some additional uh, space on the, the board. Dazzler usually pops off. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it didn't feel quite good enough, right? Uh, so anyways, I'm going to do some additional testing with uh, with Baron Zemo, but the old traditional, what I mean is, is by traditional, I mean this one here. I like this one probably better, right? So if this version plays and feels better than the Baron version, 
do you ever play a barren version of Surfer? Probably not, right? And that's the challenge, though, because then you're like, okay, if the mill-style decks don't work, then what am I playing Baron in, right? I don't know. Are you playing it in Zoo? Where are you, where are you taking it, right? I do think that Baron right now feels a little lackluster. Uh, I don't want to, again, I don't want to again say like, oh, he's a three-star, don't get him or anything like that. But like, he did kind of feel a little lackluster for me, kind of underperformed my expectations. Getting a season pass card is probably your best bang for your buck. But if you're a free-to-play player, stay patient. This one might be one you're able to skip especially as we look into uh, the next week or so to see how it shapes up meta-wise. It does look like Red Hulk, though, is going to be legitimate. So Red Hulk, keep your eye out on that. We're going to have the video tomorrow. Regardless, guys, I hope you enjoy these gameplay highlights. It does a good job of showcasing Baron Zemo and what it's capable of. Okay, we got some Forge gameplay. Well, they're going to probably want their Patriot at some point. Gladiator into Krakoa. Very nice. Gladiator Krakoa is very strong. Oh. Whoa. My Grandmaster. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they play Mr. Sinister. Fair enough. Adding that sweet four power to the deck. Whoa! By golly! That is a chonky boy! That This is a very chonky boy. Um, Do I want to... Necrotia feels like a really bad place to play him. Yeah, this is probably fine. I don't love it. I don't hate it, though. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Order. Order in the court here. Because if we get Absorbing Man... All right, let's do this. Yeah, we got a big boy Zemo here. Very big boy Zemo. Oh, classic Mr. Sister Absorbing Man combos. I respect it. Hope you didn't need that Doctor Doom there, bud. Join us! Oh! <laughs> we got his Patriot, though! This is low-key kind of funny. Oh, and we can Baron Zemo again. Do we do it this way? I think we do. I think we got to live the meme. Pull another card? Let's do it. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, they actually played Punisher? You've got to be kidding me. Oh! Oh, I made them draw cards! Hold on. Hold up. We got a lot of power, though. Let's just do this and win. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. That is how you win with Baron Zemo. Victory. And I, to be honest, we pulled an Iron Lad. We pulled Brood. Those are pretty good, man. All right, let's get this Yondu out. Black Knight dead. Do we snap on this? Do we snap on Black Knight's demise? Okay, things are getting interesting here. Could do... No. Could do this. Into Rouge Ant-Man? This is an old school player. They got the old school uh, beta card back. Did they just take my Rouge? No. They've taken it. Damn, they're, they're totally going to screw me over here. They have my rogue. But we're going to maintain this additional energy here. Whoa. They don't know. Oh, they took my they took my dazzler? How dare you take my dazzler? Well, I got a solution for that, bruh. I have a solution for that, gamer. How can she snap? Honestly. How can she snap? Disgusting. Disgusting gameplay. I don't appreciate it at all. Oh, I could have I could have rooshed the dazzler. Good call, actually. Oh, well. They snap on the the Call Obsidian gameplay? Damn. I see you there. 
I see you. Man, they actually had Ghost Rider ready? That's sad. All right, hold on. Kazar. Shauna. It's always an additional Ebony Maw here. We always win. I think we got to do this. This way. We There's no hope in hell for us winning this game, but let's send for four anyway. Wow, they had Black Panther. We're so screwed. Okay. Does Dazzler reach with this one drop? Come on. Oh, Deadpool. Let's go. We did it. Baron Zemo. Ebony Maw. Deadpool coming from Shauna. Kazar buffing. Dazzler coming up. Let's go. Look at Spooderham. Let's send the ham. Yes. Complete gong show. Oh. Mojo World Spooderham just dies, man. That sucks. They can easily win Mojo World now with uh, your boy, Skillmonger. We got Animes. I think we have to Gladiator Animes here, right? Oh. So that didn't work as planned. That's... <laughs> oh my god guys i couldn't even make this up man oh the trials and tribulations of being a gladiator gamer what an absolute disaster oh the humanity the humanity hold on we play baron here we're coping pretty hard Join us. Yes. Um, I hate to say, guys, this is really bad. If I'm going to play him again, I can just absorb him, man. If we're going to go full cringe. Okay. Join us. Oh, that worked perfectly, too. Look at that. Hope you enjoy additional energy for your game. This has been the most cursed game of Marvel Snap in history. Provided they don't snap, I will uh, I will continue. I will let them take these cubes from me. I'll let them rob me blind. It's and they go. It's Nova into Venom. Certainly we find a way to win. <laughs> Always believe in the heart of the cards, friends. We never lose these. As we trigger Baron for the third time. There's no one in the deck. Oh my god, I forgot no one was in the deck. No one's in the deck. <laughs> no, man. Death to Meek. This is a Grandmaster deck, so we keep our options open here. No, I want to Zemo twice. We'll do this. Corvus Glaive. Getting pumped. Cable and Bar Sinister is good. I think we Baron Absorbing Man here. A lot of effort going into that belt. Oh no. Talk Ock. Disaster. <laughs> oh! Remember, we have Shongers too. But I think I play Absorbing Man here. And then we can Gladiator on Bar Sinister.
<laughs> I actually have a four power Morbius. This is so dumb. No, it's Zabu into Gladiator because we have to get uh, Shongers inexpensive. So we're going to roll the dice on what we hit here. It's their collector. He just dies. This has been a wild game, man. This is an absolutely insane game. What do they just discard? Proxima? Oh my god, Helicarrier. You gotta be kidding me. They actually pull Helicarrier. We definitely can lose. Oh, Iron Man's so good for them. They're short on zero. So they just lose there. Shongers? Oh, Shongers. And we have to beat this Dracula. This is a Helicarrier Dracula. Oh, there's Red Hulk. And it's not Red Hulk today. Red Hulk actually would have beat us. What a game. Gladiator, Cable, Yondu. Glad first to get a low cost card, Lady Sif. Sad. See you, Meek. I don't know if I would describe Zemo as very good. You know? We got Wongers. Look at this pixel variant. Leader's not a bad idea as a six cost. Who do you cut for leader here? I mean, it's probably Wong. Like, Wong's just too greedy, isn't it? Let's do this for a sec. Shit. Got had. Let's try this. I don't think they ever play right. Oh, okay, well. Hey guys, they played right. But now we pull their rocks. Watch this. Oh my god, we win. That actually came together kind of nicely. Got their Odin. Right on time. Or is it right on time or always lucky? Oh my god, I don't draw a card. That's so bad. I was like, oh, I'm going to draw a card. And it just doesn't. Okay, nice. Thanks. Thanks, game. I don't know if we can Zemo here. Oh, I made a mistake. Shit. I meant to play out my gin there to whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, Melvar, thank you for the prime. Truly appreciate it. I'm giving them too many good cards. Mm. I can't just fill. I gotta, I gotta. This sucks. Oh, oh no. Oh, Agatha! Wow, I top deck Surfer? Are you kidding me? I 
I'm not going to snap. I'm just going to send this. This is a weird game. Neither Hella Enjoyer or myself expected to go this way. Destroyer or right? I just play Destroyer. Listen, I would happily do that as a meme, but let's just stay in this game. I think we actually have them. We go to 11 power on the Agatha lane, plus hit hard with Surfer. This is pretty good. Snapped. They've snapped. How can she snap? Like Magneto's obviously problematic. It's Magneto plus all the one drops. I think we win because these are just the the gins, right? It's got to be just the gins. Yes, by one. Agatha the Harkness does not make it. Corvus Glaive into Silver Surfer top deck does ultimately win the game.